All right, so I'm here in a park that's close to my house. Once again, the learn Tai Chi at home idea is that whether you're actually in your house, in your living room, you can also take advantage of spaces that are quite close to your home. Like if you have a park nearby, you can just go do Tai Chi there. So this is a park nearby my house. So they provided me with a bench. That was very nice of them. Wherever you are, if you're out in the park, if you're at home on the couch, um, if you just want to go outside in the garden and sit down on the wall, uh, that's a good opportunity. So let's get started. So let's begin sitting in just a comfortable position. Scoot yourself a little bit forward towards the edge of your chair would be nice. Hands on your knees, feet flat on the floor, head, well, floating up in the air. But don't strain, don't try to sit up in a military posture, just breathe and relax. Sometimes I like to open up the arms to the sides like this, sort of open up the heart. It helps me open up the breath and definitely open up and empty out the mind because you don't actually need to think of anything today. You don't need to remember anything today. You don't need to know anything in advance today. Just let yourself move and breathe and smile and that's all you need to do. Right now my arms are just floating up and down, just getting a little movement into the body. Inhale, you see, and that'll help you rise. Exhale, and that'll let you fall down. You can even bring your hands back to your lap if you like, in between each one. Breathe in and rise like the wings of a bird. Breathe out and sink down. Beautiful. Now the next time, as the arms rise up, they're gonna round out right in front of the body here, like a big hug, and then palms turn down and press down back to your knees again. Slide them across the knees and reach out and round out again. And press down. We call this movement sinking the chi. And it goes along with the breath. Inhaling to rise up. Gather in. Exhaling to sink down. Beautiful. Now slide the hands off of your knees going forward. And rise up in front of the body. Not too high, just about chest high. And the elbows sink and fall, float on down. Breathe in, and they rise up in front. Feel yourself getting a little taller as you put your hands up and then ah, sink into your bum as you let the hands fall. The rising and falling of the chi goes along with the rising and falling of the body. We call this opening the door. Now the hands reach out in front, rise up, and round out once again like the big hug. Inhale and open and with this hand on top, gather in a big rounded shape, a big holding the ball position. We call it embracing the moon because the big round shape is a representation of the moon in Tai Chi. The moon is the yin element, the gathering, right? The, rest, the resting, ah, the contemplating. And then the opening here is the yang, the expanding, the sun rising. And then embracing the moon once again. One more time each side. Inhale and open. Exhale and gather. Arms open out again and the fingertips drift back together. Hands turn palm down and float down to your knees once again. Slide off and sink the chi. Nice. Now let your hands dangle down by your sides and open up the palms. Turn the palms out and as you open up the palms, the heart opens also and then release, the palms turn backwards. Once again, inhale and open. Open up the shoulders, open up the 
chest and the heart and then really see so you're gonna get the heart all open ready for ready for some connection today inhale and open exhale and let it release now file that away we're gonna do something else the head's gonna turn to this side and then I'm gonna turn my shoulders then I'm even going to just sort of slide on my bum a little bit until I'm looking almost all the way around behind. Then I straighten out my backside, straighten out my shoulders, and bring the head back. Right? Going the other way, the head turns, the shoulders turn. I slide on my rear end a little bit to look all the way behind, and then coming back in opposite order, hips and then shoulders. We're going to add that to the opening of the heart here. So as I turn my head, the heart opens, the palms turn out, they keep on going, adding the shoulders, keep on going, opening the shoulders back as I turn my hips, and then as I come back, I let the arms and the chest and the heart relax. Good. Now the breath helps me as I turn this way. Inhale to open, turn the head, turn the shoulders, still breathing in all the way around. And then breathing out as I come back and release. We call this the wise owl. Looks behind. Inhale. Exhale. You don't have to hold the breath anywhere, by the way. If you need to take two breaths to my one or one and a half breaths, you just breathe naturally. Because if you go one way and I go another, I don't care. All right, let's go back to the beginning. Sinking the chi. The arms float in, palms turn down, all the way to the bottom. Beautiful. Now slide your hands over to the side. Swaying out to the side. And then swaying back to the other side. My fingers just sort of brushing across my knees as I go, and my weight shifting from cheek to cheek. I reach out and up, and look back just a little bit, and then come back down. My hands brushing across my knees, my weight shifting over, then lifting up. We call this tossing the moon. Something we get from a very traditional qigong exercise called the 18 moves. Sure, ba sure. The 18 moves. Breathe in as you toss the moon up in the air. Once again, that moon, that yin element, you reach out for it. back to center and let your hands come back to your knees. Let them rest for a moment and then sink the chi. Beautiful. Slide the hands forward. You're going to rise up in front, round out like a big hug. Inhale and open. Then with this hand on top, scoop under to catch that moon again. Then sliding one hand under the arm, toss that moon away into the corner. Good, roll it on back. Toss it away. The actual name of the movement is to tame or style the wild hair. <laughs> like my wild hair. On the mane of the horse. So I can feel each hair of the horse's mane as I stroke up and across and outward. One more time. Beautiful. Now, this hand on top, catch the moon again, and then toss into the other corner, sliding from under the elbow all the way out to the corner, and then reaching and gathering. Now, some of you have already started doing this, but noticing that an opportunity to sway back and forth from cheek to cheek here, shifting my weight from 
one side to the other side. Just like if you were standing up, stepping out, that's all you do, shift away from foot to foot. So you can do the same thing seated. Beautiful. One more time. Gather in. Slide it just like you could feel every hair on the horse's back. And then come back to center with a big hug right there. Inhale and open. The fingertips float back together, hands flat, and float all the way down. And one last time, sink the chin. Breathe in. Breathe out. And thank you for joining me that short seated Tai Chi workout.